I have gutted this and replaced the LEDs. I'm not going to do a full tutorial, but I have the back removed so I can show you. Ready to roll? Yeah. We are here at possibly one of the most haunted cemeteries in America. Not only what what the legend is, well, what was your habit? But what's the history behind it? Haven't we been here before? There's somebody in here. If there's any truth to it at all, that there's gonna be because someone died there. <laughs> That's the way ghost chasing goes. Uh, 33 ohm, 1 watt. Going from the negative all the way down to the negative on this LED right here. And then go to this pipe. Got the negative that it bridged across right here. And we got the positive connected to the uh, negative right here of this LED. And then the positive to the positive on this LED. So these two are connected positive. I'm not doing a full blown tutorial. Like I said, this is the first version of it. And uh, some of the soldering looks kind of botched, you know, because it's my first time doing it or doing this one. And because when I went to the ledcalculator.com website, which I will show you in a second, and I put in all the LED values and voltage and all that stuff. It added an extra 1 ohm, 1 eighth watt resistor to it, which was causing my lights to not work. This one was the only one turning on because of this right here. So that one was working, but the rest weren't turning on. So, and it said to put the uh, the one one ohm resistor right in here. And when I did that, none of these lights would turn on. So I connected it to the negative there, and then I tested it back over here. This light turned on. Tested over here. Both of these lights turned on. They were a little bit dimmer. Tested over here, they were super dim, and over here, didn't work at all. They wouldn't turn on. So, I removed it after uh, trying to figure out what the problem was, and I just bridged it right here with no resistor, because this is uh, runs off of two button batteries, and they're three volts each. So that's six volts, and you got one and a half volt, one and a half volt. You know, so that's six volts right there. And basically I had to uh, run, the, run the power to these LEDs separately, these two, in order to get them to work. And these three run from the same. And then I had to add uh, the power from here to run to these LEDs because uh, they wouldn't run in in line because the voltage it, it dropped too much where it wouldn't all work only the first one would so doing it this way they worked and I'll stop explaining all this because for the most part it doesn't look the greatest and this is the first version I just wanted to show you because I don't know if I'm gonna make another one or not I have tested it and it is pretty bright these are 8 millimeter LEDs, they're triple chip, and um, it actually works pretty well. It's just whether it's going to be brighter than some of my my single, you know, light mods. 
such as this right here. I don't know if five of these will be brighter than this right here, and I gotta do some tests on it, but I'll show you what this looks like. And let me snap it back together. There we go. This button, uh, again, does not work because it was connected to the board. It's right here. And this board, apparently, allowed it to be an on and off switch but when you remove it from the board it's one of those switches where you push it and the lights will stay on you let go and they'll turn off so I just kept it there so there wasn't a hole and the battery hatch so it runs off of two batteries two buttons it runs off of two button batteries the positive negative and here's the, the cap light It's pretty bright in my game room. You don't get no uh, spotlight effect. There's my workstation. I don't know the battery life on it, but soon we'll find out. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.